Yo, what is up guys? It's Highcross, and welcome to this tutorial on how to optimize your PC for Fortnite. If you guys are looking to reduce your latency and improve your overall gaming experience, then this video is for you. With that said, let's get started. Alright boys, so first we're going to start on our desktop and we're going to hop right into GeForce Experience. From here we're going to click Drivers at the top, and what we're going to do is check to make sure you guys are on your latest driver. So we're going to hit Check for Updates. And as you guys can see in the bottom left hand corner here, I'm already on the latest game ready driver. If that is not the case for you guys, you guys are going to see a little download button right here where my cursor's at. And you guys are just going to hit that and then hit express installation and that will download and install um, the latest GeForce driver. So you guys are all set with that. From here, we're actually going to stay on this screen and we're going to click this little open in game overlay button. All right. Once this pops up, we're going to hit performance. And once this screen loads, you guys are going to see we have voltage maximum, power maximum, temperature target, and fan speed target. What I want you guys to do is copy basically all my settings that I have here. So if power maximum is dragged to the center, drag it all the way to the right. Do the same for voltage maximum, temperature target, and make sure fan speed target is set to automatic. From here, we are going to you know move up a little bit. And for enable automatic tuning, we want this turned on, all right? So if it's set to off, make sure you little turn that little dongle on and what enable automatic tuning is is it's basically going to safely overclock your gpu and boost your pc speed by a few megahertz so after enabling automatic tuning it is going to run a scan on your pc to see what the highest speeds are for optimal performance i recommend just letting this scan run without opening other tabs just to prevent any problems and this scan can take about 10 to 45 minutes after um after running it depending on your pc's components so at, once that's finished, you guys are all good and you can close out a shadow play and we can move on to our next step. All right, boys, for this next step, you're going to right click on your desktop and we're going to go into NVIDIA control panel. And once this pops up, you guys want to be in your manage 3D settings, which I'm already at. And basically, you guys could just copy the settings that I already have. So I'll kind of scroll through here so you guys can see them. You could pause at any point in this video, um, but I'm actually going to point out some ones that I actually uh, want to kind of make a big deal about, um, cause there's definitely some of those there. So the first one I want to talk about is low latency mode. So I have this setting set to ultra because it works best for my system, but on some, especially older systems, this setting is going to cause some FPS inconsistencies. So if you experience FPS drops after watching this video, make sure to turn the setting off. Next up with monitor technology. This will, for most of you, already be on fixed refresh, but for a handful of you guys, it'll be on G-Sync compatible. G-Sync adds a ton of input delay to your game, so if this says G-Sync compatible, make sure to swap that setting to fixed refresh. Next up, we're going to go into OpenGL GDI compatibility, and uh, for this, we're going to select Prefer Performance and do the same for Power Management Mode. So make sure that this is set to Prefer Performance and Power Management Mode is set to Prefer Maximum Performance. And for prefer the refresh rate, make sure this is set to highest available. So make sure it's not application controlled. Make sure this is highest available to give you guys the best uh, possible settings there. And then I'll kind of scroll through the rest of my settings if you want to copy them. I have a whole video talking about um, my NVIDIA control panel if you guys want to check that out. So you guys could just pause and copy all these settings. And just make sure to hit apply if you guys see it anywhere where it says apply at the bottom here. And you guys are all set and we can close out of this. All right, boys, for this next step, we're going to head down to our search bar on the bottom left, and we're going to type in settings. Once this comes up, we're going to type in game, and we want to go into game mode settings. So for this, uh, we want game mode to actually be set to on, all right? This is a little controversial. Um, I've actually heard a lot of people say that game mode, uh, you know, does really good things, but I've also heard people say that it does very bad things. Overall, I know that most pro players keep game mode on, because um, as you guys can see, when game mode is on, Windows optimizes your PC for play. Um, and so I've experienced, you know, nothing really bad with when game mode's on, so I just tend to keep it on. From this screen, you guys are going to head over to related settings on the right, and we're going to click graphics settings. Once you guys hit that, make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is set to off, all right? Um, I would say this is more bad than good, so I would just keep it off. I've heard like a lot of bad scenarios when it's turned on so honestly i would just keep it off and then for graphics performance preference all right this is where we're gonna optimize your pc to prefer fortnite and optimize fortnite specifically all right so for choose an app to set preference we're gonna make sure it says desktop app and not microsoft store app 
So set it to desktop app and what we're going to do is I'm actually going to remove Fortnite just so I can go through the whole process and show you guys from scratch, all right? So we're going to hit browse and I already have it to where it's going to come out right away, but I'll go uh, to where you guys are probably going to be. So what you guys are going to want to do when you hit browse, it's going to take you to this screen. We're going to double click on our local disk. And from here, we're going to go into program files. Make sure it's not the one with x86. Make sure it's just regular program files. Double click that. From here, we're going to click on Epic Games. We're going to click on Fortnite. We're going to click on Fortnite game. We're going to click on binaries. And we're going to click on Win64. All right. Once you guys do all of that, you guys want to double click on Windows Fortnite client Win64 shipping. All right. It is going to be the one with the highest amount of um kb right here as you guys can see i have 282,382 is because it's the biggest file so you guys are just going to select that once and hit add all right this officially added it in but it is not set to high performance yet so once you guys add that in we're going to hit options and from here we're going to hit high performance and we're going to hit save all right so what this is going to do it's going to make sure that your your pc is giving high performance to fortnite specifically and making sure that Fortnite is being prioritized on your computer. All right, guys, lastly, I'm going to show you guys another method of boosting your PC's performance, which is actually enabling XMP. XMP is simply a setting made by the manufacturers, and these settings are well within the safe zone and should be enabled if you have the option to. By enabling XMP, you are hopefully boosting your RAM speed to hopefully get the highest speeds possible. So before we begin, I'm going to hop on to Task Manager. So go to the bottom... Um, left hand corner here we're going to type in task manager pop this up and we're going to head into the performance tab and make sure it's set uh to memory and not cpu or any of these other ones and as you guys can see my speed is at 3600 uh megahertz and this is because i'm already on xmp and my previous speed was actually 2900 megahertz which means xmp bumped my speeds up a decent amount and is working well currently so hopefully you guys can see a slight boost in performance after enabling this um, and yeah, let's get right into how you guys can, you know, turn on XMP. And you guys can do this by simply going down to your little start button in the bottom left hand side here. And what you guys are going to do is hit this power button. And from here, I want you guys to hold down your shift key. All right, left shift on your keyboard. Hold this down while hitting restart. All right. And from here, obviously, it's going to stop my recording. So I'm going to switch over to my phone and I'll continue the steps from my iPhone. All right, boys, I'm now on my phone, and what you guys are going to do when this comes up is you guys want to hit Troubleshoot, then you guys want to hit Advanced Options, then you guys want to hit UEFI Firmware Settings, and then you guys want to hit Restart. This is basically going to send you guys to the BIO settings, and from there, you guys can enable XMP. What you guys are going to do is the easiest way to access uh, your BIOS and manage everything is headed to easy mode as you guys can see on the bottom right hand side here just hit easy mode and this is going to transfer to you guys to another screen which is just an easier location to see everything and basically what you guys are going to do is look for xmp right here and as you guys can see i already have it enabled so i'm not going to disable it because i don't want to risk anything and affecting my pc in any way um but obviously i can disable it or enable it it's already enabled Yours is most likely going to say disabled, and so what you're going to do is just hit enabled um, and to enable your XMP, and once you enable it, just hit like save and apply or, or save and exit in the bottom right, and that's all you guys are going to do. And what this basically is doing is safely overclocking your PC. It's going to boost your megahertz a decent amount, um, so it definitely boosts your speed, and you finally get to, of course, be on the speed that you paid for um as i have some pretty nice components in my pc there and obviously i want to get the speeds that i paid for so that's what you guys are going to do and once you're finished enabling xmp just hit save and exit and hit okay and this is basically going to you know restart your pc and everything will go back to normal and i will see you guys back on my computer once this restarts all right, boys, after restarting, you guys should hopefully be on XMP, and you can actually check your PC speed again by heading into Task Manager and hitting that Performance tab, um, just to double check your speeds. But with all that said, I hope these steps helped you guys to optimize your PC for Fortnite, and I hope that this video was of use to you guys. So make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace.